Were you in the market recently to get yourself a radio that did pretty much everything that would hook up to your smartphone, doing navigation, playing all your clips, and accessing all kinds of features like your text messaging? Well, you're in luck today. I'm going to be reviewing this Pioneer DMH2600 NEX coming up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Eric Tech and I'm from erictech247.com. If you're interested in unboxing videos like this, tutorials, tips and tricks, consider subscribing right now. Today, we have the Pioneer DMH2600 NEX. Uh, this is one of the latest uh, radios on their lineup uh, this year. Uh, what we're going to do, it's a CarPlay radio. I'm going to be unboxing it, showing you the features all around. Then we're going to be hooking it up in the car and showing you the feature. Let's get in the box right now. So, upon unboxing this box, you'll find the harness, which we're gonna need to hook it up, the Bluetooth microphone, a USB extension in order to uh, hook up a USB device. You got your mounting hardware screws. Of course, of course you got the beautiful manual but nobody reads that right wrong all right let's get into the serious business right here all right before we dive into this radio let's just take a closer look at all the features here uh, it says it works with Apple CarPlay Android Auto, it's got the Alexa feature built in, which is nice. Features for the iDataLink Maestro modules, which is super, super interesting. Of course, you got your Bluetooth, it's got the Sirius XM tuner uh, ready for the tuner. Uh, you can hook up your media through USB and auxiliary. You got video output to play stuff in the back on an overhead or on uh, headrest screens. You got, of course, your Full HD uh, video, dual phone connection, that's really interesting, not all radios do that. Uh, you got your steering wheel control uh, inputs, if you want to retain that function on your car, that's very nice. And you got some, uh, what is this, I get some, uh, some crossover settings and whatnot for the audio. So this is what the radio is going to be looking like a bit. If we look on the back side of the box. Uh, we got the model number here, all the features that we talked about. Looks like it's built in with Spotify. Not sure what Weblink is. We're going to look that up. Flack Audio, Dolby Dol Dol Audio, 4x50. You got three RCAs, subwoofer output, high voltage. I'm going to check if it's 4 volts or whatnot. RDS radio. That's pretty much it. It's backup camera ready, so there's an input. It doesn't include the camera, but that's okay. And then here you have all kinds of stuff. All right, so let's get into the details about the radio itself here before we power it up. So this radio is surprisingly light uh, because it doesn't have any mechanisms. There's nothing here to uh, to insert a DVD or a CD. This radio seems to have, I didn't find it on the box, but seems to have like a 6.5 inch display. Um, once you turn it over here, you get all your goodies, okay? So you got your reverse camera input, your video out, audio out. And here, I believe you have your subwoofer, your front, your rears. You got your connector for the main power harness and speaker harness if you're going to going do, if you're going to be going the high level route um, here you got your AV input USB input the four pin connector right here is the iData link connector if you're going to be hooking up a maestro module to get all the features of the maestro RR and then here you got your mic and here the what is this the mic and then this is the wired remote input 
for your steering wheel controls. This is most likely a media bus to get some more Pioneer products to hook up on the radio. It's got a cooling fan right here to cool off the system. Mounting holes here to accommodate different types of uh, dash kits. And that's pretty much it. Now, of course, hooking up this radio, uh, I'll be uh, taking these uh, Metra harness adapters and antenna adapters as, as long and as well uh, the uh, 60, what is it, 956511 dash kit. Now, optionally, you could get this ADT uh, VA133 mounting hardware which is basically a doubled in cage with the trim should you need it all right thank you very much to my assistant jesse uh, who got me this uh, little uh, sticker knife so we're going to be able to slide this thing open real quick so unboxing this you got beautiful uh, trim that fits pretty much all pioneer doubled in radios again nobody reads this but you guys should the wonderful manual and dear jesus this thing comes with okay locking keys this is nice i haven't uh, really unboxed a pioneer product in some time so it comes like these euro u-shaped uh, unlocking tabs to lock to unlock it because uh, most likely this thing is going to be locking in the dash well i must say guys this thing is pretty well built there's some threaded holes right here to insert some screws and I guess you can mount this in a certain configuration uh, to lock it in the, the dashboard. Alright guys, so now what we're going to do, uh, we're just going to get off the camera, we're going to mount these things together. I think I'm going to make another video on how to make these things together, but that's going to be for a whole other video, watch my channel for that. And I'll see you back in the vehicle once we get this thing powered up to just show you the features and how it looks in your vehicle. See you later. Well, that was fun. At the end of the day, the Pioneer DMH 2600 NEX is a real nice machine for the price. Considering all the features that it has to offer, the CarPlay is magnificent, touchscreen is super responsive, and it has all the bells and whistles that you could you know, ever want from a radio. Like this video if you uh, like it, because it's gonna really help me a lot with this channel since it's starting out. And uh, subscribe. Don't forget to share with a buddy or somebody that you think will uh, benefit from my videos. And I will see you next week. Don't forget, read the fantastic manual and check your ground. Peace. <music>